it's always a little weird to introduce our own project here on Yoko Talk, but I think this was, Connor, one of our the things we've been working for for a while. So we wanted to spend some time at the start talking about code meets no code. Connor, I'll let you kind of take us off. Like, what is code meets no code? Why did we decide to launch it? Okay, so code meets no code in a nutshell is a website where you'll find a whole bunch of different scripts that you can use in tools like Airtable scripts or Postman, those types of things. And the idea behind it is to basically help people who might be familiar with tools like Zapier or Integrament to learn some coding concepts that they can then use to basically build more advanced workflows and all those types of things. And this really started because I was interested in learning a little bit more about scripting. As soon as Airtable scripts launched, I kind of felt like it seemed like a very powerful feature, but I couldn't use it. So after watching some of your videos on this channel, Aaron, and also doing a little bit of research, I started to slowly get into how you can potentially use scripts. And then we started jumping on calls and going over some specific things that you could do with Webflow. And that's where I realized that, you know, now that I've gotten to the point where I understand how to set up workflows and tools like Integramat or Zapier, that it's actually not that difficult to transfer those skills into writing scripts. One thing that I've learned is like whenever I'm learning something new and I get excited about it, that is the best time to basically share that with other people to teach other people. And so what we've done is we've basically started working on these scripts that we can share with other people and not just share with other people. We don't just want to give you something that you can copy and paste into your website. We actually want to show you how the code is created so that you can basically then go and start setting up your own scripts. You can start setting up your own workflows and I think in a nutshell, that is what code meets no code is all about. Yeah, absolutely. So that was the polished version of what happened. But what the actual version is, is that Connor would write to me every morning, all caps, oh my God, check out the script I just wrote, right? And then he would link to the Zapier integration or the workaround that he no longer had to do. And I think it was Connor's excitement on a daily basis of, hey, you know, check out this cool script. What, oh my God, look at what I just did in Webflow that got us thinking of like, hey, if we enjoy this so much, I'm sure there are other folks who are interested in learning and doing similar workflows. We wanted to create a community of folks who are like us, who are interested in automating, using as few tools as possible and trying to get the most out of the existing tools that they use. So we started off with three kind of series, getting started with low code, which is just me kind of introing different elements that you're going to need, like Postman, JSON, and the basic stuff. And then Connor teaches us his most iconic script, I think, and the, you know, probably one of the, he's most proud of, of turning Airtable into your Webflow CMS. So Connor, talk us through a little bit about, you know, if someone is interested in this, like what could they expect from this course in turning Airtable into your Webflow CMS? So the way that we've approached creating these libraries, as we call them, is we've looked at the most common use cases for different APIs. So in the case of Webflow, I asked myself, what are the action steps that are most commonly used? So you'll have things like create new items inside of the Webflow CMS, update items inside of the CMS, delete items inside of the CMS, those types of things. And so we basically go through the process of translating all of the API docs, so in this case, the Webflow CMS API docs into scripts that you can use. And it really covers everything that you would otherwise do in something like Zapier or Integromat. And so we basically cover everything. You'll learn how to map the different field types from Airtable to the Webflow CMS. You'll also learn how to deal with errors that come up, which will come up. And in fact, errors and stuff like that are things that I leave in the tutorials on purpose because I didn't want to create the illusion that it's pretty simple and straightforward, just copy and paste things. Like, no, whenever you're working with scripts, you're bound to run into a lot more niggly little issues. But what we did was we basically walk through every individual step. I show you my process for figuring out how to fix certain things. And this is basically a complete rundown of how you could potentially use scripts rather than something like Integromat or Zapier to send data from Airtable to Webflow and vice versa. 
Yeah. So what's interesting is that I think it very much maps our process over the last year plus of you know us creating these scripts, right? And and mm -hmm. you know this one's an Airtable, but we have kind of in the works around how to show live data in your Webflow website. How do you ping third-party APIs? And the Getting Started series is kind of no-code tool agnostic. Really teaches you the basics of how to use no-code. I've been thrilled and with the response and the the folks who are joining are really kind of I'm surprised of how many people are interested and you know, I don't know, I don't know about you Connor, but it feels like the the response has kind of blown me away in terms of how much people are contributing to the community, how much interest they're seeing in all the different content. So yeah, I've just been super jazzed. Oh, for sure. One of the things that has been the best about doing this with a group of people is just getting to see what level everyone's at. So we've got people who are just really getting started with automation, <laughs> but then we also have people who are super advanced. So we've had people post tutorials into our circle community showing some pretty advanced things besides learning what I think is a pretty exciting skill. You also connect with other people who might be a bit more advanced or be specialized in certain tools. So it's been awesome. It's been really great. It's been really great to meet new people and looking forward to seeing what happens with it next. Yeah, absolutely. I think what I'm most excited about Ode Meets No Code is the content we're creating and teaching other folks. But I think above all, what I'm excited about is the community we're creating around low code, right? I do think the future of no code is low code, essentially taking no code tools, but really pushing them to their limit with a little bit of code.